Hi, my name is Colleen Thompson and I'm the superintendent of the Wilmer's Wastewater Treatment Facility. Today I want to talk to you again about the uh, sanitary sewer collection system and the proper care and feeding of that system. I don't know if you remember, I have in the past I have done a previous City Connection video and in that video I was uh, asking for your help and not uh, flushing uh, baby wipes or paper towel uh, down, the to down the toilet, not using your toilet as a trash can. But today I'm going to focus a little bit more on uh, the proper disposal of pharmaceutical and medications. But first off, I want to uh, explain to you again a little bit about our collection system. This is a system that delivers wastewater to the treatment facility. Um, so now this water enters the plant, it enters the plant, we, we receive about 4 million gallons of wastewater a day so for treatment. So that means that about 4 million gallons of treated wastewater has to leave the plant and, that, and we discharge to Hawk Creek, which is a surface water. So that is one of our, our primary, well, is a primary pur purpose of a wastewater treatment facility is to protect human health and also to protect the environment. So today, you know, I really want to focus on some of the, um, the medications, you, you know, if you've got unused medications, old medications, uh, prescription medications, as well as over-the-counter medications. Uh, we would like you to um, not flush these down the toilet. We don't want you to take these and, and, and flush them down the toilet. Um, and the purpose and the reason for that is that, you know, these, these products can pollute our lakes and streams and they can damage our aquatic and ecosystems and our fish. So what does that mean? It means that they can pretty much interfere with the functioning of hormones in animals and people. So it's important. We don't want you to flush these, uh, these products, you know, down, down the toilet. Um, what we're offering and what we're suggesting is we'd like you to take it to take it to the box, uh, take it to, that is being offered. Uh, the Candy High County Law Enforcement Center has a box out there that you can bring any of these um, any of these products. And like I've said before, it's pretty important for us. Uh, you know, um, out here at the wastewater treatment plant, you're wondering. You know, we we do see whole pills sometimes coming out here. They're they're screened. You know, they will be removed from the system. But uh, we'd like your help. Uh, help us and bring them to the bring these type of products to the box. And also, I believe that they do take. Uh, if you have any animal prescriptions as well, I believe that you know they will take those. So we appreciate your help. Until next time, thank you. Hello, my name is Dan Hartog, Sheriff of Kandua County, and here talking to you today about our uh, drop, our prescription drop drug box, our unused prescriptions that people have that are no longer using, or say you got a different prescription and uh, you want to get rid of it instead of having it sit around on your your cupboards or dumping it down the uh, your drain or into your toilet, we'd rather have you come out here and uh, drop it into this drop uh, box. And uh, again, this is for prescriptions. You can come out to the law enforcement center, uh, take your pill bottles with the pills in it and drop the entire bottle into the drop box. And we have a uh, evidence tech person working with the sheriff's office. We collect those out of there, put it into our evidence room. And from there, when we get a substantial amount put together, we then bring it to a incinerator near Alexandria, Minnesota, where the drugs are then incinerated. Again, instead of going into our water supply, into our groundwater, we are disposing of them properly that way. And the other message that we want to get out to people is that we, do, we don't want these drugs sitting in your, around in your house. They're not being used and you have maybe some people that come over to your residence. They see the prescription pills sitting there and grab them and now they're abusing those drugs. Uh, and using the way they shouldn't be using. So um, there's no cost to this. Uh, we have actually had some people donate mon money uh, towards this program so that they pay for the cost of getting rid of them. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a success. We've taken in uh, over 3,000 pounds of unused prescription drugs 
and the one thing that we do ask is that you don't bring any needles. Um, that we don't want any needles put into the box, just the unused prescription drugs and over-the-counter drugs also. We do have those uh, put into the box too. So the prescription drug take back box located at the Kandua County Law Enforcement Center where the Wilmer Police Department, the Sheriff's Office is located and we're located on the north side of Wilmer uh, right across the street from the Health and Human Resource Building. It's totally anonymous that way and we, we just want to make sure people are getting the message that we don't want the drugs put into our local water system. Um, that's very important that way and also that they're not being abused by somebody that wasn't given that prescription drug. We'd rather have them put into the drop box. We then take those drugs to an incinerator in Alexandria, Minnesota where they're destroyed and once again they're not in our water system or possibly being abused.